Hello and welcome to the first episode of Safety Speaking with Camp and Cattle. Today, we're discussing why it's important to make contact with your customer. Because of the population we serve, stepping out of the vehicle shows our appreciation to our customers. Stepping out of the vehicle to make contact with each customer, providing door-to-door service is what sets SCR apart from other paratransit carriers who only provide curb-to-curb service as well as setting us apart from being a taxi, Uber, or Lyft transportation provider. To ensure our customers don't injure themselves by tripping, slipping, stumbling, or falling. Okay, Steve, you know, if I, if I could, I just wanted to piggyback or ask you something about what you said. What do you mean when you say uh, stepping outside of the vehicle? What do you mean by that? Physically leaving the driver's seat going to the customer's home okay. or establishment and okay. making contact with the customer, physically making contact, talking to the customer, find out if they're ready to go. If they're ready to go, you should be ready to escort them to the vehicle. Okay. Well, you know, this is something I've noticed, and, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, sometimes what I've seen is a driver may pull up and they kind of, you know, turn their head look at the door and sometimes at that point they're saying I made contact like I made eye contact with the door but is that making contact no that's not making contact uh, also with seeing the drivers pull up and ask for 1027 mm-hmm. without okay. getting out of the vehicle to make contact that's unacceptable okay. also yeah. you have to get out of the vehicle and make contact okay okay I'm with you you know, and I'm, I'm going to always be going back to PACE. Uh, it's in our contract with PACE that SCR will attempt to make face-to-face contact with each customer every time. Not sometime, but every time we perform a pickup. But also, and you may want to elaborate on this, making contact also means assisting. Now, due to COVID, you know, Pace has informed its customers to only travel when absolutely necessary. And, of course, our customers are going to deem what's absolutely necessary. And if a customer feels that they might need help, then the customer should travel uh, with a PCA or with a companion. So I think COVID right now has a lot to do with making contact, I think, in in the driver's eyes, you know, but it's still possible to to get out, like you say, get out, step out the vehicle, out the driver's seat, go to the door, knock on the door if it's their home, ring the bell, knock on the window. We have to physically get out. Uh, Right now, uh, to our audience, you're listening to Safety Speaking with Captain Cattle, which is an SCR sponsored podcast. Now, there are going to be a lot of times, uh, Steve, maybe numerous, when a customer doesn't travel with a PCA or a companion for whatever reason, but that customer might still require assistance. So, so Pace has said to paratransit drivers, to provide minimal assistance. So, in your mind, what is minimal? Uh, I think minimal assistance would be uh, maybe gently placing your hands on the customer's arm to help steady the customer as they board or light the vehicle. Well, uh, well, well wait, can I, can I stop for a minute? Sure. Because we're still dealing with COVID and social distancing. So, now you're saying... It's okay for me to put my my hand on the customer's arm? Well, I look at it from this prospect. (laughs) You're giving them gloves. You're giving them masks. You're giving them shields. Uh, You do have your sanitizers. Mm -hmm. Uh, Minimal assistance, I think that's a gray area, depending on the person. But we need to give assistance to keep the client from falling, getting hurt. Because I wouldn't want my parents to ride the service going to a doctor's appointment and come back with uh, stitches in the head because <laughs> oh, somebody didn't assist them. So, so worse than they started out with. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, you know, our, our goal is always to provide our customers with an outstanding transportation experience. And that starts with making contact. You know, so, sometimes with our customers, and I, I did drive way back in the Stone Age. Uh, sometimes I felt that the customers thought I was probably the only smiling face that they saw that day. Um, so I think it is important about the making of the contact. Uh, like you said earlier, it sets us apart. We're, we're, we're the stellar paratransit company. SCR is the stellar because we, we provide an extra oomph. Mm, mm. and, and, and you, Steve, you talked about the PPE, the gloves, the masks. Remember, we also gave out um, ponchos. ponchos. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a good thing because if I do or allow a customer to touch my arm, they're touching the poncho, and that can be discarded. Um, Steve, you got any examples uh, maybe of uh, some Samsara events since you're the, the Samsara king? Well, there's a few. Uh People not assisting once the person gets up out of the seat to exit the vehicle. And we have to realize these are senior citizens and people with uh, different medical problems. So they're not quite ready to start walking yet, and they have to come down that incline. Okay. And that's when they stumble and fall. And if you got your back to them or looking at your phone, you won't be able to assist to maybe lessen the blow. So we have to pay attention to things like that. We can't sit in the vehicle because the client's not ready not looking at the door when the person opens the door so we can be up there to assist from door mm. to door. Mm. You know, we, we had uh, an event, I want to say two days ago. Mm -hmm. One of our drivers got into a vehicle. It was, it was a, a big boy and pushed the button to allow the side door to open, not realizing the customer had walked to the vehicle. I mean, what do you do in a case like that? Well, it's not much you can do, but try to make sure the client's all right. Call your dispatcher if they need assistance with uh, medical attention or anything like that. You have to arrange all of that. But the most important thing is to pay attention to those clients because they will sneak up on you. Okay. And our job is to make contact, not the client making contact with the driver. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I think... I think we talked a little bit about the driver looking from the vehicle at at the door, and that that doesn't suffice. Or driver pulling up to a location, and I've seen this mm -hmm. on the, the Sam Sarah camera footage, and and I also do a lot of uh, customer complaints, calves, oh, and I've those. seen drivers pull up and pick up that two way radio and ask for a twenty seven. And haven't haven't made any uh, choice or didn't even make a decision to even try to get out. Um, what do you think if it's super early in the morning about getting out well, of main contact? Well, if it's super early, some clients want to be picked up at that specific time that they're arranged to have them picked up. Okay. If I'm early, don't pull up in front of the client's house right away. Maybe pull okay. down the street, call dispatch, see if dispatch maybe can reach them and they want to leave now. If they okay. don't, sit down the street, wait till the prescribed time for the pickup, pull down, park the vehicle, secure your keys, and go make contact. Okay, bottom line, get out and go make contact, which is the title of today's uh, podcast. You know, um, looking at the clock, our time is almost up for this first podcast. And this is to our, our listeners who we appreciate so much. We want you to please remember to text us your ideas and suggestions to 773-908-7587. Email us at ccurry at goscr.com or comment on our YouTube page. Uh, our next topic for our next podcast is going to be slips, trips, stumbles, and falls, why they happen, 
and how to prevent them. This has been Safety Speaking with Captain Cattle, wishing you safe travels. And I can't wait to see you next time. That's all right. Thank you, Steve.